Hold Let's on, girl. start off the show by <laughs> talking about. about to get active. Before we go any further, I don't want to. I don't want to miss this. R.I.P. to Coolio. Okay, we'll get into that R.I.P. Answer. And also, got I just got news. Kind of while I was running a little late. Uh, Sue Surf is involved in a Rico charge. So he got locked up. I don't know what's going on with that, but yeah, Surf. I don't know if this is true or not. This is his word that's been going around. Praise out to Surf because we know how that can get. But Christine, get active. Okay, let's get started with this because Joe Budden is out here wilding like he usually does. And um, that's just Virgo nature. But he took it a step further and Damn, decided okay. to, you know, express on a podcast that is now deleted on social media. It's um, altered. It's altered. The episode is back up, but that part, I guess, that initially is came it? Up, it's not. It's not. I heard it. that it was back up, but it was on mute. Uh, the no, whole the whole episode is up, but it's edited. So I gotta check into that. But um, so he basically said that he's had sex with women. And pretended like would go to the corner and pretend put a condom on and not really do it. And then he said, and that does the job. And I'm wondering what job does that do? Like, that's very odd to say. And then somebody in the background was like, what? And he was like, yeah, yes, I did. And, you know, <laughs> Joe Biden, he's very blunt. And, you know, he really doesn't care about. I, I, I would hope that like. that's not recent, Joe. I know Joe back then. And we have to. Take into account what he did is fucking wrong. Joe used to be a drunk, a drug addict. So that sounds like drug addict behavior. I'm not doing that. Best I hope you don't do that. It's bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Cold. I'm going. If I tell you I'm going wrong, I'm going wrong. It ain't gonna be no time to go you, put you on the can't, condom. She has to consent to you going wrong to it, though. Right. Yeah. I'm, I'm saying that's a fact. So before we go there, best what I'm saying here is there is a thing called ghosting in many states. If you start with a condom and you take it off in the midst of sex, or if you fake putting on a condom, that is technically rape, and a person can press charges. So I ain't gonna lie, I never knew that. Please, I never knew that either. Please don't do that. It's called ghosting. It's in the state I believe in, California. I believe it's effective in New York as well. Only reason I know that because I was a college athlete, and we would have to go to sexual harassment trainings because we're gonna be lying on players. So they just made it mandatory that all of us go to sexual harassment trainings. So I know a lot of things that are considered rape that people don't consider rape, coercion and all that shit. Asking a girl a hundred thousand times can she let you hit? Asking her a hundred thousand times can she let you uh, hit a roll? Asking to put the tip in that is coercion and that is considered rape in some places because it's not of her own free will. She felt pressure to do. And I just feel like you know what I'm saying. Why do that? Because there's girls that will, and it's like they might not be the girls that you want but it's people that you will and you won't be raping people and you're joe budden like a bunch of women want to have sex with joe budden because he's famous he's a famous guy he has money yeah. so i ain't gonna lie most of you like most of these people don't even care about well, like bro they don't ask for con- a lot i'm not let's say it's not uh, this cool. is not anybody in particular but yeah. in my experience there have not been multiple women that have asked me to use condoms unless i choose to use them on my own yeah, that's a fact. Like I be having to tell a female, like I want to use a condom. Females don't care. Most of the time, they want to go raw. They want that raw fun. They know, yeah, like because the- condom the- sex suck. And the only thing is that I just don't want to have a baby by the wrong woman. So that's why I would put on a condom. If I am going raw, that means I kind of don't care if you get pregnant or not as much. See me, I got Plan B money. <laughs> <laughs> plan B money. Uh, but that's why. But that's why I'm also very selective with the women that I sleep with. So. That too, that too. But I, I might cool. mess with the female, bro. After having sex three, four times, bro, we're going to have to get plan B, or I'm just going to, I'm going to make sure my pullout game strong or something. No, I am crying. This guy is crazy. Nah. He bro. is. He bro, is. I don't want no baby, but condom sex and raw sex, oh my God. My thing is this. It's, I'm at a point now. Go ahead, Christine. I don't want to cut you off. I got pictures of where my baby has shitted up her back. I will definitely show it to you guys. You don't want babies right now. And honestly, I feel like it's different for a girl. Like, yeah, they do. But I guess naturally would rather it raw. But at the same time, like Trojan condoms, especially like the thin ones, it's different. Like for a guy, it's your thing going in. But like for a girl, it's still like pressure. Like, so... I would feel like it's more of a guy that, you know, is like, mm, I don't really want to use one. 
because it's different without it, like way more for a girl. So, so preferably, I do not like condom sex, but I oddly I nut faster from condom sex than I do from. You nut fa- yeah, I because I because of what you just said right there, and that was mad TMI. Excuse my language, guys, but the pressure does create and the friction does create more stimulation but on both sides. I'm gonna lie, you know, condoms gonna take me like. An hour to, to nut, bro. Like, that's well, gonna take me about an hour, anyway. So. An hour, bro. Maybe not an know. hour, but definitely about 30, 45 bro, minutes. Like, bro, I need, I'm gonna have to take the condom off and get some head, bro, because I can't, I can't nut with like, or it's gonna take, I gotta do back shots for real, for back shots. The only way I'm really like, yeah, I feel minutes. like this is wild information. <laughs> Listen, this is for the audience. This is not speaking to each other. This is just putting it out there. And this has got wild, spicy, super early. Joe, buddy, super. you are a motherfucker, but listen. That's yeah. I will let you finish on how you like to get your rocks off because you know your multiple hoes out True. there want to know. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I don't really got so much to say. I'm just saying I don't like condoms, bro. I like raw sex. This is what it is. I go. I got in my chart. I can pull my shit out anytime. You plug Period. Them. You feel me? Have me on the my chart. You put me on the same page as long as you check updated, my check updated. I don't see why not. Right. Well, people don't be pulling ch- out my charts though. I've done it, but people don't be doing that shit. Nah, bro, I got that shit. I bro. gladly pull my shit. I, I, I got that shit because I like raw sex, bro. And I ain't gonna lie. A bitch burn me, I might. At least you're honest. I'm playing. I'm I ain't playing. gonna lie. I feel like if you a nigga that got mad coochie, you got burnt once. If you haven't, you're not getting as much pussy as you thought you got. I ain't never got burnt, bro. See? I, I I've, I've had crazy time. I've, I've slept with four women in the night before, so just college that days. Was- so it ha- it's bound to happen if you sleep. What? If you sleep with multiple people, if you was like on a a good month of college, I can sleep with about thirty women. So if you sleep with what? thirty women in two in three four weeks, and the probability, especially if you're drunk at night, you can possibly get burnt. And they sleep with other people too, so it's not like it's a network. You, if they get burnt, then you get burnt. Wow. I came close. I thought a bitch almost because there was rumors going around that she got burnt, but I went to go get checked. She didn't get me though. I was close. Um, bro, I still, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I started hearing hey, club man, Listen, bro. Yo, listen, listen. Let me tell you, I, start, I was on clubhouse, right? And no people don't know I fucked this girl. Or oh, probably like two people know I fucked this girl. I started hearing her going around saying like people knew she fucked other niggas and shit. I started hearing certain rumors about her name, bro. I went to I went to RGH. I went to RGH so quick, bro. He's still there. Yo, but bro, my thing is bro. this, you got you have to my, you have to know if they're sleeping with other people, bro. So I feel like we get into a conversation about some poly, whatever fuck, polyamorous bullshit. But um, if you are like with me, even if I, I only see one woman right at the time, but that wasn't but, my bitch. It was like, a, like a, yeah, yeah, but you smashed it raw though, bro. I ain't have no oh. so it, so you got you got to like the risk assessment because people be like, oh, having multiple sexual partners is disgusting. That's a fucking lie. Mad people got multiple sexual sexual partners that they having sex with, but you have to be safe about it. You can have sex. Roll with one person, but has to have protected sex with other people, and you're not really causing any harm. But when you out there just hitting everything roll, then the risk factor goes up because you don't know who she's fucking roll or he's fucking roll, depending on what your shit is. You feel me? But right. yeah, but she's, my, my, but she's a but she's a hoe, but she's swimming her my church, so I let her go. You feel me? Bro, you, you know them just be old sometimes, right? Nah, that's what we're doing. Like, that that's what I'm mistaken. The day the day always be at the bottom. Uh huh. Hey man, so I, wild part is I don't have my shit on my joint, so I literally get the papers. So nah, I ain't playing that, bro. You show me my my chart. I show you my my chart. We is ready to go. Yeah. Or just be tell the truth. Like people be saying, "Yo, I ain't have sex in a minute." They just had sex yesterday. Like, nah. If I haven't had yeah. sex in a minute, I haven't had sex in a minute. Like, right? Like, you and your best friend. And I'm gonna tell you, I ain't had sex in a minute. But that's the only way. <laughs> Yo, this nigga best is terrible. Or what you could do is tell the truth, and they might both let you hit at the same time. Yeah, but you gotta hit both of them first. They don't. Then you go, then you go bro. Because it's the thing, bro. You know how female be trying to have that female. You got. You have thing? to. You have to. You have to be very clear. Because a lot of women don't have loyalty to each other. I can be very clear. But with you that. don't know. But you don't know how loyal it is, and you don't want to fuck with your chances. Fuck with the other one. Like there's this one bitch, bro. It's, I fucked her friend, right? But I ain't. Yo, this nigga. We not even talk about him all today. We go to the best <laughs> sex stories. Let's go. Like, I really want to fuck her friend, bro. So boom, I used to like her friend was like, you fuck her? I'm like, nah, and then not. I used to always tell that girl, don't speak on me, don't tell nobody we fuck. Like, I'm here to swear to God we ain't fuck. Like, tell nobody, bro. I fucked her friend, and I'm gonna fuck what happened after. You can tell the whole world if you can't. I fucked the friends. I come my goal. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the Scorpio male. 
Yo, best. You, you, but the thing is, I've done friend groups too, but you don't have to make it a thing. Like, it's cool, bro. Like, sometimes they, and you have to also look at it like this. The women look at you like a, a like the group slide too. Yeah, but not all. Certain these females have like her. They not hold. They they held it such a higher standards a little bit. So you man, know. listen, bro. I, I'm not saying like they. I'm a, they, 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 they not forget their friend. They I'll say them. this, right, best. It mm -hmm. for the right dude, a woman would do a lot of things. That's a fact. You have to they, make. You have to create a certain environment, a certain level of protection. Because I've had an ex girlfriend when I was bitter. I started fucking her friends. I'm not gonna lie. I did it because I was just gonna <laughs> see. Yeah. I, it's not weird. I, ain't, I, I, I don't think it's weird, weird because it's like, all right, cool. Yeah. I'm gonna just see what, who I could, what I could do out there, and then it's like, yeah, yeah I don't care. You fuck my friends. Ah, so fuck. I don't want to fuck your friends. This is an you wouldn't care if your friend fucked your no, anybody. Bro. So if as men, good. as men, this, this that's because best be running his mouth. See, best you just told you be pillow talking. As a man, how though, look, as a, well, how would she know? How would she know that? She, how would your man know your girl pussy good? Cause you sp niggas talk about it, bro. I'm never in my life told my man, yo, my girl pussy is good. No, no, not, no, not your like girl, girl, but a girl, I bet you mess with like her. She was niggas, bro. Niggas I, but if it's not your girl, then it's not you. Don't trip on none of that. What big me say? We not falling out about some hoes. I hit your hoes. You hit my hoes. But wifey's off limits. That's it. Yeah, I ain't looking to get married no time soon. So, so best you fucking everything. You fucking is a hoes in your eyes. Nah, I don't think I'm girl. I think we grown. I don't, I don't, I don't think there's no such thing as a hoe. We grown. I don't think so either. I think people are sexually liberated to do whatever they please. Like, and if you want to consider a hoe or a girl hoe, I love hoes. I embrace a bitch hoe. Like, I just love a, God I love damn. a honest hoe. I love an honest hoe, bro. That shit is so, like, uh, I, like you told the truth, baby. You don't, know, you don't care what nobody think about you. Yo, okay. best. I ain't gonna hold you. Do you like Suki? I feel like. Are yes, you I love her, bro. I, she's honest, bro. Be yourself. Like, bro. That's why we love Ice Spice. That's why we love Megan Thee Stallion. They is honest. Like you, I don't, I don't like that. Shout out to Ice Spice and the nigga that put on her sex tape. You were cornball, and it was a wax sex tape too. It was real. It was dirt. I'm not gonna lie. It's the Ice Spice video of her giving fellatio. Yeah, yeah. They just released. They just released another one. They just released another one of her getting back shots type shit. This nigga back your best. Which was over there? Was really her? Huh? Uh, and the video you can tell you can. It's very, it's very, very, very. Resemblance possibly. of her, it would possibly be her. If it is her, and you did that, you are a cornball because you don't got to do that, bro. We all got sex tapes of women. Women got yeah, sex tapes of us. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like. I don't respect niggas that expose the hoes, bro, because they don't make the hoes not want to do whole shit no more. You feel me, like? Yo, it's not even hoes because she probably just really like. Oh, they okay. are yo. You got yo. All right, hold on a little bit. Hold on a bit because I'll, I'll let you go for a second. Hold on, I'll let you go for a second. We got Christine here. She ain't gonna get. She ain't get at you yet, but. In reality, if you are with someone and y'all build a certain level of connection and they feel a certain level of comfortability, that person may not be a hoe, but she will make a sex tape with you. She may do certain things with you or he may do some things with you that he don't do everybody else. I don't eat every shorty ass, but if it's a shorty that I'm really fucking with and we really on that level, I'm eating every, like everything is on go. Feel me? It's just about what, what level of comfortability a person has with that person. I've had, I had women that have videos of give, of sucking my dick on, and they phone. They probably still got the video. <laughs> Am I tripping? No. That's where we were at that point in time. She decides to delete it down the road or she want to keep it to keep it in her spank bank. Do your thing. We did that then. I'm not chat. tripping on that. Why would, put, why would you put that in your group chat? That's crazy. No, I said tell her to tell her group chat. That's how you can recommend it on to the next friend. <laughs> yo, yo, best. Why you always, you know, there's so much women out in the rest of the world. You don't got to hit a bunch of friends. You got to get out of Rochester more, man. Right. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of women out here, man. For real. It's, it's a lot of women out here. You don't have to be a hoe. You can be honest. You can do things. Me personally, I am not looking to be a hoe. Dot civities for me are over. I had a, a nice little run, a couple years. I was had my couple years of being in, in locked in as a franchise player in certain organizations, but. You know, I didn't want to do diligence. <laughs> and then I was a free agent out here and I was out here. I was bowling out during the summer league, but summer league is over. So I'm back to trying to settle down and lock in on what we got going here. Listen, what Mitch said, if I leave the game, is the game going to miss me? Listen, man, I didn't want to bring out you at the rafters, man. Um, to women that enjoy my activities and the people that enjoy my, the women, excuse me, and the people that enjoy the vibe that I provided with my activities and the environments that I was in. Um, shout out to my ex. She's the one that allowed me to be a free agent. And yeah, we that's where we're going with that. Um, I'm alive. 
to my females, you don't never have to worry about me leaving the game. The only way I leave the game if I die. So we in this Yo, in life. Best, you are terrible. Oh my I'm god, like Yo, your I'm kids like gonna watch this one day. I know. I'm like LeBron. Like we might be going to our 20 year season. We in this shit for life. You are you trying to be out here with your son on the same team, huh? Of course. Oh my Niggas. god. <laughs> Yo, what you said, Chrissy? You said niggas ain't shit. Niggas is out of control. He is out of control. I don't like. Well, I just, I just. But you know, truth. best is twenty two. Let's like, let's put this out there. Best is twenty two. Yeah. He's a young man. He needs. He has to experience things. And I understand. Best, I've been there. I was out here wild and stuff like that. I was talking the other day. I, when I was 17, 16, 17 years old, I lived with my girlfriend. So I understand how crazy it can be out there and how you can be wild. I was wild for a very long time out here, which is why I don't be tripping. You know what it be, bro? Every time you look up, it just be another bad look. It just be another good looking bitch. But it's like this good looking bitch. Good looking bitch. Woman? God damn, my nigga. We, we got to have to limit your beat. We're going to get you a swear jar because you say bitch a lot. It's a bunch well, of. It's, I, bro, it's, when I say bitch, no disrespect. I know, like but it's a bunch of good looking women out there, man. You think I understand what it's like, but at the same time. I love you, Black going, Queen. Like, oh, let's go. Let's let's go. So keep keeping on the men not being in control of their shit. Ime Adoka is coming out that allegedly the woman that he has sex with is one of the owners of the Celtics wife. Not controlling your sexual urges can lead to you being suspended for a year, your salary cut, and niggas not firing you because they know that you get another job, so they'd rather hold you hostage and not able to actually be. Flourishing. Don't listen the best. Be able to control your urges. I control my urges. Amen. Black females look great. Black, black women black, look phenomenal. Black, Latino, black all that family you look great. But you have to be able to control me. your urges. Blame your mother. But anyways, uh, that joke is crazy, but if you slept with the owner, but at the same time, now you got to no, know. We, know, we got know. some topics to get into. We've been talking about sex for a minute. No, no, I'm saying you got to know, you got to know, like, as a as a coach, you gotta know your role, bro. Like certain people just un- off limits for uh, for like as a human being. Would try or a risk because it might cost you your job, your life. And now look, he might did that joint. He might not never get another coaching job. He's probably never getting another coach job. I would be very surprised if any coach ever hired him again. Yeah, like extremely because you slept not you slept with an owner's wife. So and the owner the owners is even smaller of how many of them there are in the league. It looked like this man can be trusted because he can't be professional. And that was the point that I was getting at, even if it was the VP's wife. Mm-hmm. But at the owner's wife, it just takes it to like a 10th degree higher. Right. Um, I'm getting a lot of text right now. I need to put my phone on podcast mode. It doesn't disturb me. Um, speaking on a little bit more things, and uh, let's get into so relationship stuff. We got Danny Lay and B. Simone. We got Akbar and oh. Cardi B. Um, so, that- we spoke a little bit earlier about people leaking sex tapes and shit like that. Let's talk about Akbar and Cardi. Who was sex tape got leaked? Not oh. sex tape. Akbar got um. Cardi her tape B got Yeah, her giving her head. You said who? Akbar got exposed giving head. Yeah. yeah. Cardi- hey, I was, hey, Akbar, I slap. I ain't gonna hold you, so I don't know. She you ain't see the video? Nah, man. You didn't see the video? That's what everybody's talking about. Yeah, I was. I told y'all I got the surf information. I was trying to figure out about that. I don't really be paying attention to Akbar. No, I ain't gonna lie. Let me just say this. City Boy's up a million points after that, bro. You see the video, Christine? Yes, I she did. She was getting crazy? City Boy's kept... up a thousand points. And you know why? Let me say this. Let me just say this before we get into uh, Akbar versus Cardi B. I, and I want to I wanna talk about this uh, other sex tape with... Um, Shorty too. Well, I spice. Yeah, we going to talk about sex tapes. Today's the sex episode. We had a, a lot of other stuff, but we're gonna talk sex. Fuck it. Go ahead. Um Akbar was sucking dick. <laughs> and this is the Yeah, it's the bitch she talking about tell me you love me. Tell me you love me. Like and the nigga not saying nothing. Like she said like three, four times. Then he gonna tell her like shut the fuck up, just suck my dick. <laughs> Yo, I'm fucking yeah. crying. That's great. That's not. That's oh, not. He said eat that yeah. dick. He did not say shut the fuck up. Uh, but I forgot what he said. But it's yo, like best. That. That's some shit you be saying. That's why best is thinking about himself. Nah, in the nah, nah. But listen, this yeah. is so funny to me, bro. And I realized, bro. I realized though, like, say if a bitch was giving me like head, right? A woman. I, Goddamn, I was, nigga. Oh, 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 oh. Let's say if a woman was giving me head, and that part, and she said she give me head, just because I don't want her to stop. She had said. I want to get married. The fact she give me hair right now, I'll be like, when you want to get married, bro? That's the type of nigga I am. But that nigga TJ, they said his name is TJ. I don't know how they know. But that nigga was like, I don't care what the fuck you got going on, bro. You can say you love me as many times as you want. I don't care. That's why it was so funny to me, bro. Because 
And that in that moment, usually females have the advantage over a nigga. You could tell them, you could tell her ask a nigga for a social, social security number, he's gonna give it to you. No, she can ask a nigga going. like you. You not getting shit. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm kind of, I'm kind of similar. If you say you love me during sex, I'm gonna look, and I'm not there. I'm gonna look at it, show you a little crazy, like, uh huh. All right, what are you saying? You saying yeah. don't, don't say. Th- I, I can't say things I don't mean. So right, I'm, I'm a character. I can tell you. What I, I know best. Be. Best you are. Best is a great actor. That's gonna. That's, you're gonna if you act very be well. Denzel, yeah, if you want me being Denzel Washington, I'll be Denzel Washington. I don't give a fuck. Where, what, they, what you be forced with, with the lazy eye type shit? You gonna do that too? <laughs> Stupid, like. <laughs> 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 like, like, yeah, what up? Oh man, what I was about to say, man. Um, Ice Spice, man. Also, because I, I was one thing, because it, and it came into the group chat we talked about it, not our group chat, but another one I was with some of the homies. So, two takeaways, right? For what I have from that one, the nigga he was fucking with was a lame. He was a bum ass nigga. The three. Two, the song selection showed me how young this motherfucker was. That you should, you, 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 should, you already did bad by fucking this nigga. But the song he picked was trash. It was what a song, song about, it was a trash ass song about getting neck and fucking. And three, why would you let this nigga have you on them dirty ass project floors? Like I don't know. She wasn't in a project, but you know, in the project apartments, the floor? them floors is harder than the motherfucker. I lived in the projects for eighteen years. Project Bro, floors are fucking terrible, problem. and you was on your knees in there giving this bum ass to get neck in his mama apartment, and it looked like the floor was a swept. Like for me, I be noticing shit that people not supposed to notice. But like, if I'm at a woman's crib and it's a roach crawling, I'm like, and don't get I, get it wrong. I've had roaches before. I understand uh, infestation happens, bugs happen, and stuff like that. And a roach, I'm like, right, she, she might need to handle something. But like a mouse or the floor is a little dirty, or you got like. Pounds of laundry somewhere. I'm like, cause don't get, I get I get it. People have stuff to do. My child's my room be looking like a mess too. But I can't do that in that, man. Nah, it's just not it's just not for me. But this could probably the vid probably could be before she got lit too. But she, still, she, like, yo. The vid, I, the vid, so you so the hold on, hold on, hold on, best. Cause when you was a young boy, right? Even when I was young, and I was calling the drinks to my parents' crib, sorry, mom and dad, and I was bringing them over. I'm in there straightening up, making the living room look nice, got Yo, we about to watch Netflix. We gonna do something. Feel me? Like I'm not about to have it looking all crazy in here. But you know what? You know what? We crazy? both in the Bronx, so I know. Yeah, that I, that's what I was saying. For one, they both in the Bronx. That's probably what she rapping about. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so she's talking about you, but Ice Spice, you kind of lost because he put that video out. So he was dirty, but you still let him hit. <laughs> well, listen. That's what I'm gonna say. For certain females, bro. Like, say for instance, bro. There's certain females you hold to higher standards. There's no offense to the lower ones. Certain females, I'll clean my room a little bit more than I clean for other females. Like, there's one female that came over, right? I make sure my room because I hold it to a higher standard. Then there's girls that you feel like they down below. They're not as, you don't give a fuck what they think because it's an honor to be hitting you. You feel me? Like, that, so I that's how niggas probably looked at Ice Spice. Like, oh, she got a fat ass. That's it, though. You feel me? She might be a. Like, a nigga is on her body in the Bronx, bro. She's pretty as hell. We're not going to act like she just. But but that's because she like. Bro, but you know what like, it is, you know what it is too, and Kristen, you might you can tell me if I'm wrong or not. Women at times they go with the nigga that I give them more time and get them certain levels of attention. But sometimes them niggas be bum ass niggas, so should be looking all cool on the outside. Niggas got a, a fire fit, boom boom boom, popular da 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 da. <laughs> but nigga really is a bum ass nigga. A nigga like me, I'm gonna wear regular tee, this that and the third. But when I pull up, I pull up in the challenger. When I pull up, I got I got my own spot. I got my own money. I could pay for dates. I could do 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 do. But sometimes, like when I was a bum ass nigga, I remember when I was homeless and I was fly every day, rugby this, polo that, Gucci belts, boom boom boom. But nigga, I slept on couches. Like, but shorties was loving me when I got into I'm gonna embrace my natural shit and just be chilling and not really on that shit. Shorties be looking at me crazy, but I'm more up now than I did when I look lit. That's a, it's all about an image, bro. If you look, if you look good, bitch is gonna bleed the image. Certain Women got the like, yo, best. Your bitch limit is up for the day, nigga. Oh, okay. We go, we gonna work on this, best. Cause we gonna get I, you I, on I, radio, I, and you can't say call women bitches four hundred ninety five times on air, bro. It's, no, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not disrespect, bro. But we know we got, we got to get on, we got to get nationally syndicated. We can't have you call women bitches four hundred ninety five times on air, bro. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But yeah. Christina, shit, no story, shit. I, and I know I, she got some. I mean, well, I definitely agree on that. Like, women naturally 
want a person that has time for them, but they could also be bum ass niggas. We all dealt with a bum ass nigga before. And honestly, I like a person that's busy because I'm busy. So that's that, that trying works. to tell you, listen, if a nigga got time, a bunch of time, he don't got nothing going on. Yeah. Right? And sure, he's like, yeah, I'm gonna bring my nigga up, and then you're gonna be mad he been in your crib for five, for five months doing nothing but playing 2K and eating mm-hmm. up all your shit. So, or Call of Duty or whatever the fuck he play. You could have that going on or you could have something else going on. I get it. Okay. I was a nigga that worked from home and I would play video games, but I was working at home. Nigga, so I'll be bored at or work and I don't feel like really working, so I'll be playing the game but still getting paid on company time. That's different than just coming, staying in the crib <laughs> all day and you're sure they got to give you money for Ave and you ain't eat, so you asking her to send you a cash app or send you a Grubhub or Uber Eats and she got to send it on her shit because you don't got no car because she went to work or you using her car and you ain't put no gas in that motherfucker or made no money that day. You are up a mass nigga. That's crazy. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I always, yeah. wanted to, I always wanted to do that drunk, brother. Use a girl's car and drive the shit. I never got the opportunities. Like, I always have my own shit, bro. Like, I got, why I would you want to do that? Even bro, for I the experience. It's, for the, it's, like, it's like people that's good kids, but then they want to be street niggas. It's just experience. They feel like, nah, nah, nah. But I just want to see how... I just don't like, like, bro. The experience. You want to see how it feels. Yeah, because it's not I'm like, like you know, I, I'm not. Con- I'm not. Me, honestly, I'm not comfortable. A girl not gonna tell me bring me my car here. I'm like, bitch, what? Never. And I mean, women. Uh, not, I mean, in that context, I understand why you said that. I'm not saying you go, <laughs> but I get, I get it, because I'm the same way. I'm. It's hard for me to receive gifts from people, because I feel like if you buy me a gift, I gotta buy you something right back. I feel like a lot of pressure in that, in those moments, and. W- it's just that you have to also be open to receiving new things. I understand everybody don't come in with malintent, and past experience does not di- dictate what the new ones will be. So that's, I get it though, best because I'm I'm a, I'm a dude. If I go out, I got to pay for the first date. Like, don't ask for me. I just have to do it. I have to even if we out and you say something on like, my treat, I gotta I have money I on me. I, I don't I don't like women. I've had women take me on dates, and for me, it's a very uncomfortable feeling. But you I will know, do it because I understand good. why they're trying to do it. No footage. I don't want no female ever to be like, yo, you know how female get to arguing with you. And I shit. did this That's for you and I did that for you. Yeah, nah. No yo, no funny shit. shit. So nah, I, not, not, to, not to I know we got someone's very protective of Leo's here, but my ex she's like, listen, you you lived here and you didn't have to pay rent. First of all, hold on, stop it. I didn't pay we didn't have to pay rent because the house was paid for, but all of the other bills I paid while I was here. I live here. The cars I bought. Like we have to be very clear here. I'm not doing this to flex. But a shorty said that to me, like, yo, you didn't, we didn't have to pay rent, but I paid all of the other bills that were here. Uh, when I was outside, I cut the fucking grass, I did this, I did that, and boom, boom, boom. Like, don't sit here. Like, I hate to do that because then I get real defensive and then I, I keep everything. So I have literally all the receipts of, of money I spent for the last couple of years. I'm like, listen, bank statements show what the fuck I paid for in here. Don't please don't ever do that to me. <laughs> don't, because yeah, no. I'm a guy, even if I live with, with a woman, because I've had, I've lived with a woman. We had my, we had my place, then we moved to her place because it was just economically better for the reasoning. The house was paid off, so we didn't have to worry about stuff. But everything is always going to be money. I'm always going to pay bills. I'm always going to do the lion's share because that's just the way that I am. I, I'm people be arguing fifty fifty. I believe a relationship is a hundred hundred, but I'm willing to do more in certain aspects and that and that heavy lifting role because I know that I can handle it. But yeah, I'm not. I don't know. We kind of got out track because we were supposed to be talking about. Um, we were supposed to talk about mashing, but this is the sex episode. So this is <laughs> this is the sex we were episode. We we'll talk about Cardi B, Akbar. Um, basically, I guess. Um, and she said she got slapped by Young Thug too. There's a video of that too. Yeah, and Young Thug and Young <laughs> Cardi was saying mash it. So basically, I don't know if y'all know Cardi B just did a song with Gorilla. Shout out to Gorilla. Tomorrow for remix. Tomorrow the remix. And Akbar did this stuff with Nicki Minaj and um and like Katie got bands. I wanna say one of the city girls. Katie. So yeah, so Hello. Katie. So boom. Um it started off cause um I guess Cardi B said some shit like um um she broke a record on chart data. I don't know for me, I don't know chart data to reports like statistics for music, shit like that. And then Akbar made like a sub tweet talk about chart uh chart data and then posted it. Cardi B caught it. They started going back and forth. They was going back and forth from like 9 a.m. to like 5 p.m. Then it sounded like it was like Akbar was team Barbie. So it has something to do with Nicki Minaj. Akbar was signing with Nicki Minaj. It feels like 
right yeah, now. And Nikki and Cardi were sending shots at each other. She called uh, Nikki. She called Nikki Arms, which I found to be hilarious. I'm sorry, Nikki. I love your music, but that was funny as hell. So right now, what's like in, in the female hip hop industry, you either got to sign with Cardi or you got to sign with Nikki, bro. And Akbar was saying like she was you know, basically looking like Car- Nikki is too big to respond to Cardi, but she will respond for her. Yeah, it, yeah, it, it's you don't have she don't have to, but it is what it is. Where it is, yeah. um. We, I think we just lost Christine for a second. I hope her phone didn't die again. Um, so, no. oh, Christine's okay. here. All right, cool, cool, cool. So that it's a lot going on with that, and we, I wanted to let that unpack a little bit more. I can't leave that to Christine because that's women's business. I don't want to get into women's business. And also, quick thing before we get any further, shout out to Miss Double O Seven. Um, Miss um, Double O Seven, she's she's on the show on, excuse me, um, v, on We TV, a reality show. I think it's called Super Size. Uh, hair salon, something like that, she will be a guest on our show, if not next week, the following week. So we're going to have her on there. So shout out to her. She's also a music artist as well. Well, let me ask you this question regarding Stray, because it's a lot to like speak on that shit. It seemed like it was getting personal. Cardi B wants to fight. Alba wants to fight. She's going with Nikki. Why is it that females got to be in competition? Why can't it be more than one? I don't, it it can be, but they get caught up in a, so Nikki and Cardi stuff goes, goes back to, we know, to the the whole Motors uh, sport and all that. And excuse me, it was called Super Size Line, name of the show. Um, but you know the motorsport joint when Nikki came when Cardi came in, she Nikki felt like she should kinda of bow down and gave her all kinds of crazy energy. And mm-hmm. Akbar is kinda of just using that as I got a song with Nikki. Everybody's kinda of like at Nikki right now because like Cardi's the darling of the music industry when it comes to the old guard of women artists and also the new guard. All of them fuck with Cardi for the most part. Um, from Meg Thee Stallion all the way down to Glow Roller Tight Spice and everything in between. Um with that going on. Uh, Nikki's grasp of what she was keeping the hold of because I think about she was on top for like what 15 years yeah by like herself like there was really no competition there and well not 15 years but like 10, 10 12 years whatever till Bobo That Yellow came out she was on top and then it's just a change in the things and, and Nikki has a, a, it, to be in control it, you know what it was like even personality wise this is outside looking in this could be false this could be a false narrative it, this is all the internet what you saying in it it seemed like Cardi is more true to herself. You feel me? Like she she doesn't make come up as she's perfect. You feel me? She comes off like. Do we remember where Cardi came from? Yeah, she's from the Bronx. No, I'm saying how she actually got lit. How did she? Cardi Cardi B is probably what Soldier Boy was for YouTube. Cardi B is for rappers on Facebook, off Instagram. Yeah, because she was a personality on Instagram first when she was still stripping that suits. Right. Then she got on Love and Hip Hop, and people found out she was doing music, and then. After a year on Love and Hip Hop, to go off. Right. Or the yeah, yellow, feel me? So it was just like, and, and and her, her genesis, Nikki's genesis has always been an artist, push, diva, princess, queen. That's you her, her thing. And the, way, and the way she talks about people, she talks about peasants. Like, I don't know if you've seen it. She was on live with uh, JT, and I guess before. Um, she she kind of sounded her. She sounded her. Sound her. Yeah, yeah JT just in a song. She's like, rap that song. You like, it's like she look at people below her. So, like, up becoming females, they be looking at Nikki and I was like, okay, like, yeah, you the goat, but like the way you treat other people is not like it's shitty. Uh, Christine, not anything nice. you want to add in? Here? It's not nice. So I feel like that's why a lot of people roll card it. And Akbar just so happened to be one of the girls that I go lie. I feel like Nikki trying to change the narrative with being that she grew up listening to Kim Nas. Yeah, Nikki, and you know so, I, I walk around from Philly and shit like that, and, and she's for controversy. Just love hip hop, man. Right. A great, a great, and she felt like they both came because you know Cardi B. All of them that haven't had that success, the Akbars, the Masikas, and all of them that are artists, Cardi B really is the standard of what you can be coming from Love and Hip Hop, and th- they've been on there for years and haven't had the success she had. So there's yeah. a little bit of resentment there too. Christine, I'll leave it to you because we I want to wrap this up and then we're going to talk about this little Lil, Lil Zay Osama shit real quick. Um, I could say like I definitely agree with just the way Nicki Minaj's presence could be at times. Now I'm a fan of both, so I'm one of them. I'm not like a, but I feel like talent wise, I don't. I don't think that Cardi B is a good like rapper. I feel like that that song that came out was really good though. Like I really like that song. Like I like them both, but I don't think that she's Lyrically, and, you know and, what I'm saying? And, and, that, and that's the one thing I would say a lot of people always have that you always use against Cardi. It's like she doesn't write her own rap. 
that's the that's the one like she don't write her mostly, own mostly. But you know, a lot of rappers have writing sessions where they yeah, write for multiple people. Like I'm not saying like people could say this. Nikki's ill. Never take nothing from her. But Safari was writing some of that shit too. People right. always want to negate that part. Like he played a role in this, and we know every we all know the industry is not necessarily about you being the nicest. It's about can we market you, right? And Cardi was marketable. She was that's a lot of like Nicki Minaj likes to attack. Like you know, Nicki Minaj wants to hold her throne. I'm the best female rapper. Such such so the way she's gonna attack Cardi is gonna say you don't write your. But own even rap. if you if you want to hold that throne, then rap with other women. Drop a song with Rap City. Do a song with Shay Noir. Do something with Armani Caesar. Do something with these ill lyrical ass women. Show your range. Not I know you can rap with the men, but do it with the ladies. Yeah, put the ladies on. Like y'all both win. Uh, that's how I look at it. Feel me? Like I'm like Nikki. Nikki is Nikki. It is nothing that we can say or take away from Nikki. She's hurt. But the thing that comes into play, it's like the it's like the Michael Jordan and the LeBron argument with these two, right? Mm-hmm. Mike might have been Mike, but people love LeBron. Like not just the basketball player, LeBron, the human being. Right. Pe- people love Nikki. She as, a, yeah, as the he, artist, he, he, but the human he, being. Like everybody loves Cardi because Cardi's relatable. She feel like your cousin, your sister, your auntie, whatever. And she embraces the people. Like like you feel Yo, me, like, bro. No, before you go there, best Cardi B had a number one album with Invasion of Privacy, bro. She was on my block, such a projects, chilling in the hood with some crippin' blood niggas, chilling. This, this is real shit, chilling on the block like she was just like on the shit she used to wear. On just chilling on the block, taking pictures and all. She's not all dressed up. She had offset chilling at her fucking grandmother's house in, in the Bronx. Sleeping in her grandma's house in the hood with the number one album out. This is the kind, this is just who this woman is. She did a song with K Flock while he locked up on her. You see, <laughs> rapping her yeah. shit. And she's a number one artist in the world. She has records with Bad Bunny. Maroon 5, Bruno Mars. We're not even talking about just rap no more. She's a, she's a crossover act with billions of streams. And it's crazy that this, this, this human being is still willing to embrace who she is and not give that up for nobody. And I love her. I just feel like... Man, that's, that's why like people love her. Yeah, I feel like that's why people love her, but it's just like, I don't know, that's kind of contradicting though. Like... Her just being out in her projects type shit. I mean, it could be, could have been like security around. It could have not been around I mean, people. It, 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 oh, I, and I, and I feel you, and I would agree with you. But the fact that I know what was going on that day, and I talked to people on Facetime, it was no security. She was chilling. Like they love her. Like she just got embraced by the block because people going to celebrate. But you don't think that like. But you, know, you don't it, think it, not even just female wise, but I mean, yeah. So we're talking about females like. Not, I guess I see what you mean by it. not everybody could do that, but that's also not a smart thing to do. Oh, no, no. I, I agree. I'm not saying do that. I, that. By all means, I am not saying to do that. I'm saying the person that I see she... where you're coming from. Yeah, the person that it's she just, is, it's, it's, is that... Oh, like when Nikki, when Nikki got um, dropped pills and potion and she took off, we ain't never hear no queen shit again until she was fucking doing it so with Fabio Foreign. She wasn't in Queens. She wasn't in, it wasn't Queens, this, do it, boom, boom. I'm the chick from my, ah, uh, ah. Uh. It wasn't that. You know, you know, so that's what it be. That's all it be. It be people, it's like, you don't forget where you came from. You feel me? Like, she, like, Cardi B got on, but you see her, she brought Kenzo B on stage before, bro. Like, like. She was at Ice Spice it. performance in New York City re- in like, yeah. last couple of weeks, rapping the song work for work. You feel me? And we, even Gorilla, you see how she brought Gorilla? We do certain stuff like that. It's like, damn, bro. It's like, you're not too big headed. You feel me? You like, I don't, Cardi B's one, I mean, Nicki Minaj is one of the greatest female rappers of all The time. greatest artist, period. We're not going to put, even, yeah, we're not going to yeah. put a gender on there. But it's like, yeah, you got to the top, but what are you doing for community? Well, like, it's, I'm not, what's, saying, what's not your, doing nothing. It's what you're like. Uh, it, that's, yeah. I, I, that's, I'll bring it to something even similar. We, we all can understand. Jeezy and Gucci, man. Right, mm-hmm. who y'all think had the the better career? Everybody gonna say Gucci Mane. No, better career. I'm talking about like oh, a solo oh, oh, act. Jeezy, Jeezy, multi platinum artist. Right, but at the, when you talk about Atlanta culture, who do everybody bring up? Gucci, because who everybody Dolph. Not just he not even though Dolph is Memphis. He was born in Atlanta. Dolph, Young Thug, 
Migos, Migos. Low Baby, oh, all these motherfuckers that came that come came popping out of Atlanta. 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 Right, we could go Waka Flocka, um, OJ the Juice Man, oh, Gucci Man. Is they all of them have the same lineage back to Gucci Man? Not saying Gucci put them on, but Gucci was fucking with well, them. He, put them aside, he, put them, he, he gave them he helped, that extra. He, that extra he was ladder. the first. He was one of the first people in the business to embrace them. Right, Twenty One Savage, all touches. Exactly. Them. So, it, and that, and that's what it is with women in the hip hop space with Cardi and Nicki. Nicki is more successful, even though she's never had a number one album. But if we go on on a long stream, long scale of time of what Cardi compared to what Cardi did, Nicki has been very successful for a long span of time. And it's considered talent wise to be the best. Like Aaron Rodgers considered talent wise to arguably be the best quarterback. But when you talk about influence and impact on the culture, Cardi is in that Gucci man or Tom Brady influence to win. You feel me? Not and also being a winner. Um, who else is the person that had great chief Keith? Like these people are taking the culture to another level because they're being more inclusive of things. Not saying Chief Keith was inclusive because you know he was had his ops and shit, but Chief Keith changed the game by how young artists come into the game. Because before that, you had to make songs like "Kiss Me Through the Phone" and shit like "And Bad Wild Bounce with Me" when you it, were sixteen it, it years old. That's what I said. Soulja yeah, Soulja Boy Legacy he brought people on. Chief Legacy, Soulja, Soulja, Soulja Boy is another one. Soulja Boy did a song with Chief Keith early, like "Foreign Cars," mm-hmm. and she says she loved me and all that shit. Early, look, Soulja Boy was that. Guy. And look, look, Bow Wow probably got, I don't know if this is true, Bow Wow probably got more success than um, uh, Soulja Boy as an artist as far as selling albums. Like, Lil Bow Wow himself. Like, I know that's my name, all that, they got more, le- but niggas look to Soulja Boy more than they look to Bow Wow, bro. Yeah. Because Bow Wow was the standard until a new standard was created. I mean, Bow Wow still is kind of the standard. We talk about young artists having that level of success. Mm-hmm. But but the in- influential impact, people they do drill in the UK because of Chief Keith. So like it makes it real, real in- like interesting when we get to that part. And again, I love Cardi. I love Nicki. Um, if we talking about talent wise. I don't bar for bar. I don't think there's anybody really better than Nicki. Um, I love Foxy. Foxy's there. I'm not going to take nothing away from Foxy it's Rod Digger. I feel like they had the Foxy like- Rod Digger, Rap City. All of them are ill and can do it. But like when you talk about the complete artists, can make a hit, can do this, can do that. I don't. I think Nicki is the standard. Missy Elliott has a real good argument too, but it's just that Nikki's the standard, and it make, it makes it crazy. But Cardi B is just she's doing something that's a little different, and she's creating she's create trailblazing a lane of her own, where it's just not I'm not just an artist, I'm also um, the pulse of the of the culture for women in hip hop. So that's dope. Um, Little Zay Osama, we want to go Little Zay Osama or Twenty One Savage. We go Lose Osama. Lose Osama, you get in about 10 years, nigga. That's all I got to say on that word. If y'all want to break it down, Christy, you can break it down. I ain't going to lie. I'm Hold on. Still... Christy, let Christy let us know what the fuck is going on. Lose Osama. Lose Osama. From Chicago. For those right? who don't know, uh, his most recent song or hit was with Lil Dirk, Fuck My Cousin. And he was caught, you know, leaving his... Gun. I forgot what type of gun he had, so I don't want to. I think rest. it was a Glock. It was a Glock. It was it was a switch. pistol with a switch on it. Yeah. And he's an Uber. How do you do that? And an Uber in Queens, New York. He's from Chicago. And you know, you know what's so crazy to me? Okay, so everybody knows how strict the um gun laws are in New York City. New York State. Right. But city hell yeah. New York State, yeah, New York State period. So normally when you get a permit or whatever it could take up to two years. So like that shit is really strict. So automatically, yeah, I think it's going to get like 10 years, but I know it's kind of off a little bit, but the first thing I thought about was that Rondo number nine situation while he's locked up now. It's just like, that's not a good correlation, but just having guns, cars, anything like that, especially getting the Uber. I don't know if he was by himself or not, but you gotta be better than that. It almost make you think like you know, you know what it be, bro. I feel like sometimes rappers be off the drug a little bit too much sometimes, so they just they you, leave little shit behind. Yo, but my thing is this, right? Because I don't, gun? I don't know if it was a nine, or if it was a forty, whatever it was. I don't really know the caliber of the gun. But, you but if you got, it. and I'm, I'm more than likely it's a nine or a forty-five. If it got a switch on it, feel me? Because you want to make it feel like a machine. If you have, right? If you have mm-hmm. a joint on you, right? 
And it's 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 still kind of warm. It's not too cold in New York yet. It's still a little. You could dress hoodie weather. You gonna know if you dropped your shit, bro. Like yo, what it? What did you? What could it possibly do? And not only did you drop your shit when you get out of Uber, you don't make sure that you got everything. <laughs> <laughs> it had to be close to him, like. like Bro, even if you got it in your hoodie, like when I get out the Uber, I make sure I got my wife. I'm like, all right, hold on, let me check out my phone, my wallet, key. All right, cool, I'm good. Like you, can't, you can't hit you can't hit your Uber driver all over. You can't hit your Uber driver back with an app like, yo, bro, bring me back my gun. Excuse me, like in New York, you can't, you can't hit the Uber driver back up. The uh, Uber driver called the police. No, I know he did. I know he did because nigga, bro, not only you got a gun, not only do you have a gun, right? It has a motherfucking switch on it, and I'm in New York. I'm not getting pulled over with this in my car, bro. Hell no. Now I'm not saying me personally, because I mean, hey, nigga, this is again. So y'all didn't hear that, but anyway, you can't get pulled if you get pulled over with that shit in your car, bro. Assault, like like repeating rifles are okay, but in New York City alone, it's really hard to get a gun. Even though they're kind of changing the laws now, but to have a gun over the ten round magazine capacity, you're going to jail. If you got a 30 clip out that motherfucker, bro, you going to jail, bro. They give you a ticket or something. No, they think you're to jail. The only way I felt he could beat that junk is he could say, like, but I didn't leave that gun in the car. That's the only way he could Then who left it in there? The but they're going to... And they gonna, you know they're going to run fingerprints and all that kind of shit yeah, to make sure... That's what that, come on, bro. Forensics, baby. So, Lose yeah. Osama, 10 years minimum, brody. That's a damn shame. And if you got any cases in Chicago, they're going to they're gonna make you do your time here and then send your ass to Chicago and make you do time there or in Illinois. So that's fucked up. Um, what else we got going on? Um, 21, Savage. 21 Savage and Wack 100. I think we're going to wrap with that. Well, we could do a bunch of people that should be apologizing. So 21 Savage and Wack 100 got into it. We also got Tony Ayo says game and Young Buck needed to apologize to 50 so they could go on tour and get 30 to $40 million. Um, 21 Savage and Wack 100. Best takes away. So but I, I ain't see the whole clubhouse conversation, but you know, Wack 100, he's the clubhouse troll right now. Clubhouse he's king, the, man. He be he, he, clubhouse king. They call, clubhouse pause, king. they calling him cheeks on the internet. I don't know, Wack, I don't know why they calling I, I you that, that joke, but that's crazy. I seen that joke on the, but you in Vegas. I wouldn't even play with uh, Wack 100. He the man out there, bro. I'm not playing with Wack. I, listen, I fuck with Wack. Wack be tripping sometimes, though, and I'll tell Wack to his face, hey, Wack, you be tripping. I'm but, not, listen, man. But anyway, the, um, he was basically trying to say Twenty One Savage played a part in YSL, um, getting locked up. You you saying it's real nice? He tried to say Twenty One Savage is a criminal informant. That's why he didn't get deported yet. Christine, <laughs> anything you want to say about this? I, I don't got nothing to say. White One Hundred is a troll, so I don't believe it, bro. I, I don't know what the like. So from what I do hey, know, he, from yeah, what I played a part in the reason Jay uh Twenty One Savage didn't get I know that, but from what I do know, the, so the conversation with why Twenty One got brought up was because Twenty One was referred to, um, in a conversation that Wack was having with another woman in the in the chat. And you know, Wack be turned up sometimes or whatever. He don't really care because you know, on power what does he say? That's what's his, that's the thing. When Wack say you on power rule, you know he about to do some bullshit. So, um, he she said something about how Twenty One is how Wack did this, and he is speaking on Twenty One business. And he said he heard that the DA say in Atlanta that a, a well-known rapper is a criminal is being is is, is uh, cooperating, and he put he in his mind put two and two together, believing that it's speaking about twenty one seven, because they wanted he wanted what happened to the gun charge and why he wasn't deported with the ICE situation. So, right. yeah. uh, Chrissy, anything you would like to know or you would like to add to this conversation? I didn't get to tune into that, so I didn't hear. All right, so um, I'm gonna say this: Wack 100 is known for making up rumors, bro. Like I'm easy to say for the sound girl, bro. Hey man, I, I, I won't say that though, because Wack is Wack. I'll say he, he may make some rumors, but Wack will be on some bullshit. Wack bought that nigga that artist name, whatever is Zach something. He bought that nigga artist name and made sure that that nigga he took all that nigga music. Yeah, Wack, Wack is by Wack, his Wack is not playing with niggas, bro. <laughs> like leave Wack nah, alone. Wack I'm not saying 21, Wack. but y'all regular niggas. If it, Big Bang take Lil Bang, leave Wack alone. Wack knows how to get the no, Wack knows how to get people talking. That's what I'm saying. Absolutely. Bro, um, yeah. before we end up with our last stuff, because I want to bring up the Tony Young Young Book thing and get y'all thing. New music has dropped. Shout out to Tory Lanez. That project is dope. Rome Streets. That's the homie. Uh, shout to that shit is yeah, hard. Say, that shit. They say he's a great addition to Griselda. I'm seeing everybody love him on Twitter. He yeah he he bro, doing his thing. He got a joint on there with Stove. He got a, and Benny. 
And you know Gun is on there, so shout out to Rome on um, Rome Streets. I believe he's from Brooklyn, Brooklyn or Queens. Well, he's from like, he's from UK, but he grew up in New York, so I can't remember if it's Brooklyn or Queens. I think it's Brooklyn though. But he be in Queens a lot. Shout out to Queens nigga. Shout out to my nigga P two Preem. We will be having Supreme Team hoodies dropped off soon. I gotta go. I got you, bro. I got you on the cash app. I'm getting some for all my cast mates, so we gonna be rocking them on here. Um, what else we got? We got Freddie Gibbs drop. I know I, I know Freddie is getting a lot of slack right now, but from what I heard, it was dope. Um, Tori, Freddie, YG, YG drop Fire Project. I, I fuck with it. YG, I felt like it was in the duff a little bit. I'm hearing a little back, a little you know, uh, mixed reviews on the West Coast. But from what I heard, I like it, so I'm not knocking YG at all. Kid Cudi dropped. I did not listen to it. I'm not a Kid, Kid Cudi fan. Don't hate Cudi, but I heard that um, Mike Dean. Uh, leaked the album and put a bunch of farts on the album <laughs> instead of actually playing his music. So that's kind of fucked up. He put like fart ad libs. And let's get into the Tony Yayo and talk about Young Bucky 50 Cent to apologize. Anything y'all would like to add with the music before we get there? Um, I, I, I ain't watched the whole segment. I watched the clip where he felt like. Any new music uh, you want to add though? G- G- oh, uh, Christy, you said, what's something that you want to add to, right? With new music? You said somebody got the new Janice. Yeah, Rich Baby just came out with the new song. So that's fire. That shit is a hit. You know what the title of that song is? I don't. This song, I just had it in my head. I was sitting here thinking about it the whole time. Um, I've been listening to other drinks. Uh, if you haven't, there's artist Davy Jones, uh, Shanti official on Instagram. Juka These are some of the artists. You said what? My boy Juka just a fresh from Yep, 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 yep. Juka, he he's a dope artist as well. Um. Davy Jones, who I've been listening to, and I think it's another artist name is Prince Inky. Put up a fire live performance that I've seen as well. So, um, hell yeah, we just it's mad new music just dropping right now, man. Oh, it's called Pillow Talk. Mm. Um, oh yeah. Hold on. Somebody, and I beat up y'all. And I beat up Rich Baby for. I'm gonna put that out there. Damn, that's the clip that's going <laughs> out too. Yeah, I, I need to see that. Yo, 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 who got yo Chaz? Oh yeah, Chaz. Chaz Bruce, man. I don't have no problem with you. I think what you're doing is phenomenal. Please, bro. Just so we talked about sexual harassment in the beginning of the show. You cannot unwarrantly tell a woman that you are a munch. You cannot <laughs> unwarrantly tell a woman that you are a munch. Because if she and thinks you you're not munch. attractive, that's considered her sex. Like, you know, 50 Shades of Grey. You ever seen that meme? 50 Shades of Grey, women think it's, like, oh, certain things is, is fire and sexy when they, you find you attractive. But when you're not attractive, it feels like criminal minds. It's a very thin line, my nigga. It's a very thin line. You cannot be out there just telling women that you suck front, my nigga. Please, keep doing your thing. Them pool party videos is kind of funny, and I like them. Not kind of. They are funny. I like them. I like that drink. Um, but yeah, man, tell people that you are a munch is crazy. And shout out to you for being at the BET Awards and everybody that was at the BET Hip Hop Awards in Atlanta yesterday. Shout out to But Christine, what would you say if somebody came to you and said they were a munch? What'd you say? What would you say if somebody came to you and said that they were a munch? Um, I would be flattered. I probably wouldn't um go on with the conversation, but I would go throughout my day like, you know, that was very nice of him to say that. That Which he, that he that, sucks, you know, right? <laughs> Yo! So, all right, fellas, I'm not saying fluck or see inbox, but she will be flattered if you <laughs> no, said please. that you are a, a, a munch. Send no, some flowers in the cash the, app too, though. Send send the cash app and some flowers too. Yeah, send, you gotta send her. I'm her cousin, so send me some bread and you can talk. to her. <laughs> nah, listen. Send the cash app right for sixty dollars and say you a munch, and then she open the inbox. Nah, I can't nah, respond to. I can't. Res, I can't guarantee she will respond, but I guarantee listen, she will read it. You you send me the bread, I get her to respond. It could be a high five. I'm, I'm gonna get her. To read. <laughs> Yo, you sound like you soliciting, my nigga. That's not what we doing right now. Nah, uh-huh. no, we all, we all gotta get, we all gotta eat. There's a team out yeah, here. That's a team effort. You don't gotta, and they eat and literally. I'm oh my you. god, not, yo! Listen, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I am, not, I'm not a poster. I'm all for it. if you want to eat some coochie, eat some coochie. But do not be offering your mouth all crazy. Shout out to my homegirl, Goody Rock Boy Room and a uh, Rock Boys group in um, um, Clubhouse. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. My bad. She always sold me because she's a she do, do a lot of the dental stuff. She'd be like, yo. You got to be careful who offer their mouth to you because people don't be taking care of their jibs. You feel me? Mm. Like, ladies, your pH balance is important. If a nigga offering to suck front, you don't know how many other fronts he, he wanted to suck. 
and y'all be thinking that it's dick pulling y'all shit off. Nah, it's some niggas that y'all be letting suck on y'all front. Fuck your pH balance up. Ooh. And, uh, I was watching my son. God bless. Happy birthday, my son Bills. I was watching his last video, bro. Oh, yeah. This- Bills interview dropped today, too. If you ain't know. Yeah, Bills interview dropped today. Yo, this girl, like, he did it with his um, escort. She talked about she shits on niggas, bro. Like, she literally, like... I believe crazy. her. And um, while I'll, I'll talk off the air about that. Because I know who that is. That's funny. But I don't know how motherfuckers get... Man. And the shit she was telling me she be doing, bro, that niggas be paying for it, bro. Like, I'll never pay to eat pussy. What the fuck, bitch? I mean... Never mind. I, I ain't gonna say shit. <laughs> Yo, you can't help it, man. God damn. That's the Rochester thing, you, man. This, if, this, if one thing, there's three things about a Rochester nigga. They gonna call you a bitch. They gonna, they gonna love some black men subs. And what's the, what's the other joint? Um, they gonna say bruh. Three things. Those are the three things about somebody from Rochester. Bruh, <laughs> Wegman subs, and they gonna call you a bitch. But they love you though. That's nah, fucking I crazy. I don't know what love is. Talk about love. Hey, listen. I, I love, I love all the women. So I fuck with you, but I don't love. You, 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 I'm, I'm so TJ. you can love someone and not be in love. Those are two different things. No, no, no. But I, I, I love when you give me head. I'll oh tell you my what. god, mm. this guy here, <laughs> Tony <laughs> Yayo. Let's get up to our last topic. Tony Yayo says that Young Buck in the in the game needs to apologize to Fifty so G Unit could do a tour to make thirty to forty million dollars. And Young Buck in um, Young Buck and Uncle Murder is on tour with Fifty right now, actually doing shows in Europe. And I just seen Uncle Murder driving the Lamborghini boat on the water in Switzerland or something like that. Doing real well, man. Or Poland, one of them countries. What do y'all think about that? Do 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 game need to apologize to Fifty and Eminem and I Young feel, Buck and I apologize feel, to Fifty? I feel, like he, I feel like he's tried, but being 50, who Fifty Cent is, Fifty Cent's a petty nigga. So it gets he's a, a cancer, where, man. Yeah. Cancers yeah, are very like, emotional. They cry like once a day. You feel me? Like Fifty, like I feel like the game tried to like. You feel me? Heart has things out with the fifty because you seen them say, "Oh, me and fifty, we all good now," and then they just forget to. But you know, but you know also. So I wasn't talking about fifty when I said cancers all cry every day. I'm gonna talk about more so the women. But cancers are very emotional people, and they hold grudges. So I got you. One minute we wrapping up. Uh, what we do? Well, what's going on here is fifty in game game this fifty at a show he did and said fuck him and then man other shit was going on and yeah. But damn, we're gonna say this for next time because we only got like a, we got less than what 30, 45 seconds left. 45 seconds left. About all right, so yeah, we gonna get out of here. Anything y'all want to see before we get out of here? No, we out. We out of here. It's the controversial mm-hmm. best of swoop show, man. We about to get the fuck out of here. It was always the immature and boisterous best and the beautiful and controversial Christine, who doesn't mind anybody offering to be a munch, but she's just not guaranteed to get the job. And you know me, the cash at me, I send the message over. You know me, the uh, what is the word I want to use today? God damn. I'm that the the savvy and also the sarcastic the swoops. Also, ladies, if you offer it to be in lunch, I, it's not guaranteed because I need to know what your last time you've been to the dentist. Shout out to my dental home girl that told me what how important that is because I don't need my shit falling off. This is the I don't need my shit falling off, but if you're a nasty bitch. Never mind. Oh my God. We are <laughs> out of here. We're done. Hey man, yeah. appreciate y'all for tuning in like I do every week.